space mission led by professors from the University of Iowa took off from California today. It took eight years to develop the Tracer spacecraft. The university hosted a launch party to watch the takeoff this afternoon. Our Quad Cities Ben Klein reports scientists want to get a better understanding of the effects of space. It's the first one of its size and kind that's ever been led by the University of Iowa. Space always seems far away, but for the University of Iowa, it's within reach. The university's physics and astronomy department led a mission with NASA to send up tandem recognition and cusp electrodynamics reconnaissance satellites, or tracers for short. The tracers work in a pair and help predict space weather. So we have sort of a shield made of magnetic field around the Earth, but some of that energy that comes from the sun in the form of the solar wind gets inside of that shield. And we want to know when and where and how much energy comes in. Space weather may not seem like something that affects us on Earth, but it does have an impact on farmers. In Iowa specifically, we use GPS guided tractors to do all of our farming, for example, and space weather can really mess up that GPS signal. So we're hoping that with technology and missions like this, we can better predict that space weather just like we predict terrestrial weather. Students worked alongside experts on the mission. It was a learning experience for everyone. It's definitely intimidating at first, but it's also very cool to see like behind the scenes of how the, the team structure works, how we're deciding how the data comes down and the communication with NASA and all that and so it's, I, I feel like I'm learning so much just every, every week. The mission was successful. The tracers were let into orbit and the spaceship landed on Earth in under eight minutes. James described it as an ideal launch. In Iowa City, Ben Klein, our Quad Cities News.